Good afternoon, D&D, TikTok, and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Today, I'm going to be using these watermelon dice that were made for me and given to me by a viewer at Gen Con. Thanks. Let's get started with our roll for bread. Two freezer ends. From deep within the Icewind Dale, aka my freezer, today comes some cinnamon raisin bread. It is frozen, so we are going to use our toast bread cantrip to bring it back to life. There, that's much better. This bread has proven to be surprisingly flexible in the past. We'll see how it fares today. Next up, let's roll for main. Three, fish sandwich. Fish sandwich refers to these frozen Alaskan Pollock fillets that I have. They take about 15 minutes in the oven, so we'll get it in there and then we'll come back. A few moments later. All right, so it's been a little longer than 15 minutes, so our Pollock fillet should be nice and cooked. Definitely not my first choice to pair with cinnamon raisin bread, but could be a lot worse. Considering what we've been through on this show, I'll count my blessings. Next up, let's roll for cheese. Four, Pepidou cheddar. Back once again to our creamy cheddar with inclusions of South African sweet pecan peppers. This stuff is pretty tasty and it melts pretty well, so putting it directly on the hot fish might be a good thing. Next up, let's roll for roughage. Seven, fresh basil, and 11, none. All right, we'll just step out to the deck really quick here to grab some fresh basil. Basil being the only roughage on this sandwich is interesting. We've already got quite a few different things going on with this one. After washing our basil, let's arrange it on our sandwich here. And there we go. And it's time to get wild with the wild magic roll. Six, cotton candy mistake. Some kind soul sent me this spicy jalapeno cotton candy. So here we go. I've actually had cotton candy on the show a couple different times and I didn't put very much on and the sauce immediately melted it. So in an effort to actually get a bite that has cotton candy in it, we're gonna put this entire patty of cotton candy on. Joy. And last but not least, it's the D20 sauce roll. Here we go. Two, ketchup. Well, I guess this is what happens when I have three good sandwiches in a row at the beginning of a season. Now we have this. Okay, let's get it closed up. Get our toothpicks in to hold it together. And let's get it cut in half. And let's take a look at that cross section. Looks like I just unalived SpongeBob. I am uncomfortable with the energy that we've created in the studio today. I guess let's give it a taste. Here we go. Well, I'd imagine that's what biting into fiberglass insulation is like. The texture of the compressed cotton candy, not great. Flavor-wise, we're all over the place. We've got weird, fake jalapeno flavor, cinnamon and sweet raisins, and then random fish. It's not good. Don't recommend. Whatever the opposite of cohesive is, is this. Just about everything in it is at odds. The cheese being a little melty, maybe the only highlight here. Oh yeah, and of course, there's ketchup on it. Great. Well, the hammer was sure to fall at some point, and boy did it ever fall. Not the worst one I've had, but a bad one. I'm gonna give this one a straight two, and I'm gonna call it the Nasty Patty. It's a shame I gotta do this, but here you go, Earl. Good mimic. Thanks for hanging out, y'all. See you next time.